I feel like we've not only let you down, but we've let ourselves down. We this. have, we have. Shoes, where are my shoes? Hey guys, today is gonna be a good day. We've got lots to talk about, lots to do, but first, I'm running late. We gotta go. That's better, I've got a few seconds to talk now. I'm on my way to physio appointment number three, um, which is all going very well, but before we talk about any of the cool stuff that's happening in today's vlog, let's talk about the most important thing in everybody's life right now, I'm hoping everyone's life, Guardians of the Galaxy. It comes out on Friday. My tickets are booked, premier seat in Saturday night, me and Rose, Zach and Rach, I'm in. I am so excited and Leon is gutted that he can't come. Absolutely gutted. He's at a wedding, which is amazing, but I'm gonna, I might just film the whole thing and just make him watch it. Actually, I'd probably get arrested. Not the best idea, don't do that. Something quite a few of you guys have picked up on, especially on social media, is that I look a lot smaller. And you're spot on. Basically, because I haven't been training, I've had quite a bit of muscle atrophy, especially on my left side. Atrophy is basically muscle wastage. If you don't use it, you lose it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up two pictures for you. One before I was injured, and one now. Um, granted, I'm not in good shape because I haven't been training. That's totally cool, I'm not really bothered about that. But they're both in the same light. Granted, I'm standing in a better position, and obviously one I've got a big pump, and the other one I haven't but you can certainly see that there is a decent amount of muscle loss um, which isn't really too big an issue because what that does it puts me in a really cool position where I have to work on my weaknesses because I can't clean and I can't snatch which means I get stronger on the stuff that I'm rubbish at and I'll soon build back that muscle anyway let's go and get my massage you remember earlier when I said oh I'm running really late and rushed around like a nutter I'm not I'm an hour early so I'm gonna do some editing in the car instead um, and then we will go and have our physio. I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, today is gonna be a good day. Hey guys, I just wanted to talk you through this because I'm super proud. This is the movement I had in my arm seven days ago. Uh, and this is my shoulder today with Rob's help and doing all my mobility stuff. Um, I'm well ahead of schedule and he's super happy. Today Rob gave me some new movements to do using the resistance loop band. They're super cheap, you can get like three different strengths off Amazon for like seven pounds. Here I'm pushing against the band, keeping my abs braced to pull my rib cage down and kind of lifting, elevating my shoulders up while keeping my scapula retracted. Um, and that's really gonna help in my snatch position and getting that extra bit of movement and stability. We're really working on stability now. This is probably the hardest exercise for me, just spreading the arms apart. That's where I feel the tension in my AC joint, which is basically pretty much where your kind of collarbone meets your shoulder. The last movement we did, again, is really getting that stretch on. I'm trying to keep the rib cage down and the lower back pinned to the floor. Um, I hope you find this useful, guys. And if you enjoyed the commentary and you're liking the video, please do give it a massive thumbs up because it's super helpful for us. So my massage is all done. I've got lots to work on. And what's cool now is I can start to build up my strength. And this is what I was saying earlier. I now have an opportunity to build on my weaknesses. One of them is my leg strength. Like, for me personally, I don't feel that my squats are very strong, uh, especially in relation to my deadlift. For example, my deadlift is 19 something, 190 something kilos. Um, but as my squat is 132.5, which I feel is pretty weak. So I'm gonna use a Russian squat program. Russian squat program is basically a tried and tested squat program which allows you to put roughly 5% onto your one rep max. It is a six week, that's five, I need an extra finger but it's holding the camera, a six week program, uh, three sessions a week. The first nine sessions work on volume. You work about 80% of your one RM, so that'd be about 106 kilos for me. I did work that out before. And that will progress and progress the volume, so the amount of reps and the sets you do will go up. On the back nine sessions, you start to lower your volume and increase your tens intensity so the actual weight you're lifting finishing your last session hopefully with a new one rep max if I was to put 5% on my 1RM back squat I would then be looking at about 140 kilos which is then going to make my cleans easier when I can come back to them it's going to make my wall balls easier it's going to make everything easier so let's get over to the gym and let's test if I can even put a bar on my back and how far I am away from being able to get 106 kilos on so I can start Russian squats.
Je kunt nu niet sleeves. Shots. Very nice. SBDs. Are these the ones that Sonny had as well? Yeah, Sonny had them, so I instantly knew that if I bought them, my squat was going to get heavier by 50%. Um, and Matt uses them as well, one of our mates. And I was like, they just offer so much more support. You go into a squat, you get to the bottom, you just get doink, straight so back up. You're squatting with me today, but you are. I'm overhead squatting uh, because that and front squats are the only two forms of squat-ish movement that I haven't done this week at the moment. And front squats, I go a damn sight more heavy than overhead squats. And my legs are really tired at the moment, so I'm like, I'm getting the overhead squats done and then I'll probably front squat at the end of the clean session tomorrow. Nice. So just as a quick reminder, I've not had a bar on my back John's for six weeks. Today. So if I, I, I'm not going to be working up to my 106. If I can get 40 kilos on there, I'll be happy. But let's just see how we feel, not push it, and have some fun. <laughs> These have not been worn in ages. is I had no pain at all and as I've started to heal I've started to get a little bit more sensitive especially near the AC joint so when I'm squatting the bar sits quite close to it so it is a little bit painful at the moment it's a little bit tender so I'm gonna take it very carefully and just do what I feel comfortable the bar alone was a little bit sore outside so I can talk to you and you can hear me. I've just put 50 kilo on the bar, squatted it for 10, which is fine, the weight's not a problem, but it is a little bit sore. I'm at that kind of apex point now where I want to push myself, but I don't want to do myself any damage and set myself back. I'm a good three weeks ahead of schedule at the moment. Rob's really happy with how my mobility and flexibility is coming on. Um, and obviously I want to get into a Russian squat program, but I'm not going to put 106 kilos on my back today. That would just be stupid. I'm going to take up the 60, and if it all feels well, I'm going to squat there for 10 reps, three to four sets about a minute's break in between and that's actually what I'm going to do for all my atrophy stuff so all my I've lost muscle I'm going to do typical bodybuilding 10 reps minutes break three to four sets and progressively overload that so if I come in I do 60 and I get all 10 reps for it next week it goes up to 62 and a half and we progress and we progress and we progress providing we eat enough calories that is how we're going to build muscle progressive overload is the most important thing when it comes to building muscle all right let's get in and do 60. JC is back in the game, hitting some RDLs. How many reps are you doing, John? 15. 15? Considering the other day we came in and he could only just hold 30 kilos on the bar about it feeling like mildly uncomfortable. He's now got 40 and hitting 15 reps, followed by 20 kg double, double lunges, walking lunges. One way to put the weights back. <laughs> Just happy to be able to pick them up. Bring them back to the old school for me. I can leave. I've also done 30 double unders. I've not done any double unders since before I was injured. Since the last open workout, 
This will be funny. Yeah, uh, with the chocolate or... <laughs> Was a positive session. Nick, that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really awesome session, but something even more important has to happen today. I got a disturbing and horrific message on Instagram from one of our competition winners of our book. Here's one I made earlier. Uh, Zanita messaged me and said that the publishers haven't sent out her book. So, that's bang out of order. I messaged her and I said today that we will send one out. So, today we are going to send this out to you um, all the way to Sweden. We'll put I'll get Leon to write a nice drawing in it for you. Drawing, you'd like a drawing, wouldn't you? What kind of drawing would you like? And well, you can't ask that because oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, what kind of, <laughs> what kind of drawing would one. you like? But please accept Leon's deepest apology. Come on, Leon. Sinisa, I know you've followed us for a long time. You've probably been there since the start, and I wouldn't blame you because we're pretty awesome. I feel like we've not only let you down, but we've let ourselves down. We this. have, we have. But. I hope this goes a little way to proving just how much you mean to us as a subscriber. I'm going to draw the best drawing I've ever drawn. It's probably going to be a stick man, but I'm going to put eyebrows on it and stuff. But yeah, I feel bad about this. That was good, mate. I felt like it was from the heart. I love what you did there. On a serious note, we are sorry, um, and we'll send this out to you right now. Where's the nearest post office to here? About... I don't know. I'm not going to lie. Right, to the post office, which we don't know where it is. Book is all posted. I said, Leon, let's go to Waitrose around the corner. I'll use my Waitrose card, nice twitch. <laughs> and I'll get you a free coffee. And get one and buy one. Brilliant. I'm in, I'm in the shop, I'm like, where's Leon? I text him, he's like, I'm buying coffees. So now, we have one, <laughs> two, three, four <laughs> coffees. <laughs> Woo! There's gonna be either heart attacks or a lot of work being done shortly. I'll tell you one thing, God, I'm gonna have some solid abs in about two hours. I'm gonna be I'm stuck gonna... on the loo. I'm just making dinner, I've got some veggies in there, I've got some fish in the oven, I'm gonna make myself a cup of rooibos tea, and I'm also gonna end this vlog here. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Leon will be at the helm on the next vlog, and next week there was a lot of cool stuff happening, so make sure you stick around.